Hello, Jacqueline Haley here, Hand of the Queen. Today I am featuring a video response for Lenica of Lynn's Crafty Life, who is having a surprise challenge to craft a six and a half by six and a half birthday card or journal page designed in the colors of black, white, and gray for her daughter, Lauren, as it will be her 18th birthday. Lauren likes vintage shabby chic, the 50s, and electro swing music. What a great surprise it will be for Lauren to receive birthday greetings from all over the world. I will now share my one of a kind birthday card and I have designed it for Lenicky for Lauren all the way from the United States of America, Roanoke, Virginia. Also, if entering this challenge, please do not write Lauren's name on the envelope. I'm leaving my envelope blank. Please go to Lynn's Crafty Life YouTube channel for the official challenge entry post. Without further delay, let's view my entry. All right. Let me see. Did I have something else to say? Oh, yes. To let you know, I'm not a season paper crafter. My birthday card for Larn is crafted using white, black, and gray layered cardstock. I acquired the photo, photo of Audrey Hepburn from an Etsy seller. A white embroidered butterfly adorns the left hand side with gray beads and white crystal body. Rhinestone trim borders the card edges. Single rhinestones are applied to Audrey Hepburn's ear to resemble an earring and a necklace uh, pennant. I applied rhinestones there. Um, let's see. A gray shabby flower rests at the top left hand corner with a rhinestone bling center trailed by a gray drop bead and lace leaf fussy cut uh, from a curtain underneath. The envelope is crafted with black cardstock. A silver coin dot sequin fabric strip is glued across and a duplicate image of Audrey Hepburn is placed across the silver coin dot fabric. My entry has been completed and will be shipped soon. I hope you enjoy viewing. So let's, um, let me get my glasses. I always feel incomplete without my glasses. All right, let's go ahead and open the envelope as described. You've been looking at it for some time now. And uh, it is as I noted. So I'm going to open it and reveal the card. This is the card that I have prepared that I described. I won't give any further details. I think I mentioned everything. I did apply um, a napkin, decoupage napkin also, and I used the um, glitter 
on top of that. This is the back with a uh, like a ghost image of the napkin after I revealed the uh, the tissue. The I think this was on the second uh, tissue of the napkin. It was like a ghost-like image, and I used that on the back, decoupaged and glittered as well. The inside is a very simplistic greeting that says, Happy Birthday to you. So that is my card for Lauren, and it is a surprise um, to Lynn for Lauren. All right, then I went ahead and I prepared another item, which is for her journal page. And uh, this is fabric. It is a gray, uh, paisley-like design fabric, satin. And the image again is another beautiful uh, photo of Audrey Hepburn. There's a black shabby flower at the top. It has a pearl and rhinestone bling center. I used uh, rhinestone bling and circling the round image that I cut. And a pearl adorns her ear for earring. At the bottom there is music ribbon in black and white. And it says, I fussy cut this little greeting that says, happy birthday to you. There's black, uh, a few black dangles here that I cut from a larger piece of uh, embroidery uh, trim. Underneath the rhinestone is a black trim and she is padded. So, and there is a wedding embroidery lace underneath here on the side. And this is just a tab where she can insert it in her journal. The other side features another image of Audrey Hepburn. And it has the music paper, I mean the music uh, ribbon at the bottom and rhinestone bling runs across that. The image is also cut in a circular fashion and I applied black lace, ruffled lace around the image. I then used some very narrow gray satin ribbon and a pearl center in the center of the, I mean a pearl flat back in the center of that ribbon. Across the top I used a, a grommet, but you can't can't see it very well, but it's a grommet trim across the top. So this is the back again. There's a embroidered wedding lace underneath as well. And this is the front. These will be mailed to Lenica, uh, maybe Tuesday. I have the grandchildren uh, this week because my daughter and son-in-law are teachers and they start um, preparing the classroom a week prior to school. So I will be keeping my grandsons this week and I will try to get this out in the mail Tuesday. I don't believe there's anything else I can say. Uh, be sure to go to Lynn's Crafty Life and um, watch many of her great videos and tutorials. You will enjoy watching them. Thank you all for watching and happy trails until we meet again. Goodbye.